Well, many young boys dream of becoming a fireman, but how many actually get to see their heroes in action? One South Australian eight-year-old was in the thick of it following the sending of a Flat Stanley. If you don't know about Flat Stanley, well, this story from Paul Marshall should illuminate. Dear CFS, my name is George. I live near Laura. I am sending you Flat Stanley. He doesn't like getting hot. Keep him cool. He would like to be the captain of a CFS truck. He would also like to go to a safe fire from George. Well, Flat Stanley was firstly a book written in 1964. And Flat Stanley is a story about a little boy who went to bed and he woke up in the morning finding his squash flat by a pin board. Flat Stanley then found out that one of the advantages to being flat is that he could travel all around the world in the mail. St James Catholic Primary School at Jamestown in the mid-north of South Australia. 102 students and one eight-year-old who's about to have the best day. Have a good weekend? Yes. Good. George Wilson wants to be a firefighter one day, loves the CFS, the Country Fire Service. Michelle Miller is school principal. He doesn't know about this. This no, is a surprise. No, it's a surprise. I'm excited. Yes, me too. We all are. Like many schools, St James has Flat Stanley as a class project, Bridget Connelly's class of years two and three. This morning we're going to start with our literacy block. The kids send their flat Stanleys around the world. Whoever gets them photographs them in different places and sends them back. It's learning about letter writing and the mail. But George only wanted his Stanley to go with the firefighters. The CFS liked him so much they took flat Stanley all over South Australia and on to Victoria, Western Australia, New South Wales and New Zealand. The local Jamestown Brigade shined up the fire truck. It hasn't been this plain since it was new. <laughs> ready to bring Stanley back to George. The surprise was set. Did you see someone in that cab? It couldn't be. It was so exciting for George and all the kids. How are you, George? Um, do you know who this fella is? Is that your flat Stanley? Yes. He's been around a lot of, lot of places. I've seen. And we'd like to give him back to you. Did you think flat Stanley would come back in a fire truck? No. <laughs> no I thought he'd just come back in the post like I sent him. What did you think? Evacuate. That's really weird. Flat, flat Stanley came back in a fire truck. <laughs> George lives on a farm and knows about bushfires. His mum and dad were at the school to see the surprise. Um, he's um, in awe of, um, with the recent fires we've had, of what they've done and how they've saved probably our farm and um, lots of other people. So. I was surprised that he thought to send it to them, to be completely honest. But it's been amazing what they've done. Bluey Devine is the CFS regional commander. Flat Stanley's been more places than I've been. <laughs> I have to say that the most rewarding thing of doing this is actually looking at the, all the kids' faces when the fire truck came in. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> I, was like, I didn't know it was Flat Stanley. I thought it was just like I don't know, a false alarm or something. <laughs> a pretty good day at school when Flat Stanley comes back and you get a ride in a fire truck. Oh, you see the red button that says air horn? That. <laughs> it was on this day. It happened this day. What was that? Um, it was sunrise at the end of their school today. Are they? Sunrise. Wow, that's lucky, isn't it? <laughs>